job hopping should you do it or not i know it's controversial and when you go online and read the blogs you will get so many differing opinions some will say that yes it is definitely a good idea you need to frequently change jobs because that is what will advance your career while on the other hand there will be people warning you and saying no by all means do not job hop do not change jobs frequently because that will look bad on your resume so which one is it actually that's what we're going to talk about in today's podcast episode we're going to talk about whether or not job hopping is useful at all whether it can actually advance your career and in what ways and then even if it can, even if it has those benefits, should you do it? Is it actually the right thing to do? Now, let's first walk through the dilemma that you might be facing. You might be in your first job just out of college and you've worked there for one year or so, but then you're thinking, no, it's really not what I imagine it to be. I don't like the work. It's not interesting. I'm not learning that much. I hate my colleagues and I don't really like my boss either. And the commute is so long. And there's this other job opportunity, um, which seems to be much better, which I really would like to apply for. But is it a good idea to change jobs just after one year working in this job on the other hand you might already have changed jobs several times let's say two times and um, you're thinking "Mm, it seems to be a good idea because the last time i changed jobs i got a higher salary so now i have this other opportunity why not why should i not just hop to the other job should i actually make it a point to stay in my current job for uh, let's say another one year or another six months to make it two years before i move on or does it not matter at all should i just move on as soon as i can so on one hand you have this desire to improve your career or at least have the chance of having a better job whether or not it will actually be better than the one you have but you have this doubt inside you you're hesitating you're just not sure whether or not it's the right thing and most of all you're afraid of what the long-term repercussions will be will there be a negative effect on your career as a whole in the long term if you switch jobs too frequently let's say you had three different jobs in the last five years and then comes a time where there's this huge opportunity this job that you always wanted let's just call it this dream job and you applied for it and then you get the interview um, but then the interviewer or usually it's several interviewers look at your resume and in general they're pretty happy with your skills with your experiences but then there's like one stumbling point where they're not really sure if um, you're a good match for the company because um, you've because you've had a history of job hopping so they're not quite sure if they want to accept you into the company or not so that is i mean i'm not saying that that always happens but that is perhaps um, the dreaded scenario that might be running through your head and that is also the reason why you are seriously considering whether or not to job hop or just try and um, stay at your company and bear it even though you can't really stand it anymore Now, before we continue, let's talk a bit about what job hopping actually is. There's no like really fixed um, definition of job hopping. In general, it just means um, the behavior of someone who frequently changes jobs and how frequent that is, uh, we can debate. But in general, if you go online, search up the term, then usually people are talking about um, a frequency of one job change every two years or even more frequent than that so let's say one job change every year or every half year so that's that's the extreme now why is job hopping oftentimes seen as something negative not by all people but by let's say some companies some employers now let's just play the devil's advocate not saying that anyone is the devil here of course i mean uh you know what i mean so Let's just um, see it from the company's perspective. Imagine that you were the employer and you ha- you're hiring a bunch of people and you want them to perform certain tasks so that your company can achieve your goals. Now, what happens if you hire 
some employees and you expect them to stay five years or even six years so that you can have some kind of continuity in your company and you're training them to get them up to speed and to get the skills and to learn about the company you're investing time and money and you're putting so much hope into your new employees and you're building your team and the team dynamics and everything only to have that employee leave after half a year or one year or one and a half years. I mean, even um, an employee leaving after two years after you've dedicated so much time and energy um, um, to integrating that employee into your company can feel like a very short time. And that is why in general, I would say probably most companies do not like the idea of job hopping in, in general because it's just a disruption to their day-to-day -day business. So if you are someone who based on your resume, they can identify as a job hopper, that means to them that you are a flight risk. You could be someone who just at any uh, moment in time, because of some personal reason or even a career related reason, decides that, okay, I don't want to stay here anymore. I found something uh, better. I had enough here and then bye. I'm out of here. And then the company, the employer has to go out and find someone else which can really disrupt the business and it can also disrupt the way the other team members work because previously in the team let's say there were five people and now there are only four people or if more people leave then there are now only three people and so on so that's one fear that the employer might have and the other fear is also um, fear of uh, what your character might be like so if they identify you as a job hopper based on your previous experience, they might think that maybe you're a bit unstable, that you're inconsistent, that you don't really know what you want because you're just hopping from one place to another. So I'm not generalizing here. I'm not saying that all companies think like this, but this is just a rational way of thinking I think a company might have. So job hopping, having a resume where you frequently change jobs certainly can affect how the company views you. Now, the question here is, how much does that matter? In how far does it matter how the company, that particular company views you? What about the other way around? What about how you view the company? So far, we've established that job hopping is about the way that the company views you. They look at your resume and look at your pattern of changing jobs. And based on that, they decide whether or not you are a worthy candidate to work at their company or not. Now, the real question here is actually not whether or not the company views you as a job hopper or not. The real question here is whether you should care about them viewing you that way. Because the fact is that not all companies will jump to that conclusion. There might be companies who think that, yes, based on this, you are a job hopper, but then there may be other employers who look at your resume and they just focus on your qualifications and your experience uh, without even blinking at that job hopping pattern. And the other question that we also need to ask ourselves is, um, do we just care about how the company views us or should we care more about how we view the company? Because why did you have this urge to job hop in the first place? I think there are some people who do it out of um, instability or do it because they simply don't know what they want out of their career, out of their life, simply out of boredom. But I guess for the majority of people, including you watching right now, they have a very, very valid reason why they want to hop on to the next job. It's not just because they're bored and because they're unreliable, because they're uncommitted or because they have no idea what to do with their career. but the reason that they job hop is because the company they worked for previously simply didn't provide them what they were looking for. The company simply wasn't good enough for them. Have you ever thought of it that way? Now, one thing that I have to make clear here is that when we're talking about the dilemma of job hopping, should or should I not change to another job in such a short time? Here, we're not talking about the fear of changing jobs. That is a totally uh, different topic. And I've covered that in another podcast episode. If you want to watch that, you can watch it here. So 
if you have fear of changing jobs, that is more about the fear of whether or not you'll be making the right decision to switch into that new job. Will you like the job? Will you um, like the new working environment and your new colleagues? Or will you have made the wrong decisions and so on? So that is the fear of changing jobs. But what we're talking about here is um, the fear, if you can call it so, of job hopping, the dilemma of frequently changing jobs. And that at its core is actually the fear of the perception of your future employers and the fear of what it will do to your future opportunities. Here in this dilemma of job hopping, what you're actually concerned about is how you will be perceived, how you will be perceived by your future employer, the employer you are about to interview with, how you'll be perceived by the company you're about to leave, and even your colleagues. You might think that, will my colleagues uh, look at me as being unreliable because now I'm leaving them to work at a smaller capacity and am I being um, self-centered by just moving on? And you might also be concerned about what will this do to my future job opportunities? How will all those future employers look at me as a candidate for employment? But the real question that you need to answer in this dilemma of job hopping or not is, should you care about those perceptions? Or even if you care, how much should you care? Now, before we answer this question, let us first start talking about what job hopping can actually do for you. And also what I personally think about job hopping, whether or not I think it's the right thing to do. So first of all, job hopping can definitely advance your career if done the right way. If you hop onto a better job that is aligned with your career goals, which gives you better compensation, where you can learn more and so on, which is simply better for your career overall, then yes, of course, if you hop on to another job that is actually worse for you and you pick it because of the wrong reasons, for example, just because that company is better known or you have a higher position, but actually it doesn't really do much for you because it, it is just a job title, it is just a label. In fact, you're not learning anything more there. There's not more room for growth there, etc. Then job hopping can be a really bad idea. And that brings me to the right reasons for job hopping and also my personal opinion on this. If you ask me, should or should I not job hop? I would say yes for the right reasons, but no for the wrong reasons. So what are the right reasons? The right reasons for job hopping are of course to advance your career. But what is career advancement? Career advancement can mean so many things. For one, it can mean an, an, an improvement in a salary and in benefits. And here it's very important to not just look at the salary, but also the compensation package as a whole. So, so all of your other benefits, for example, what insurance your company provides, how many sick days, vacation days, and so on your company gives you. So that's one, but it also can mean growth, opportunity for growth, which is um, I think an even more important thing. In which ways can you grow if you move to that company into that new position? Are there a lot of new things that you can learn in that company, in that environment, under the tutelage of um, your new boss that will allow you to be more knowledgeable and more skilled in your field or not? What about the work environment and work conditions? For some people, career advancement can also mean earning more, but working less. So they earn the same salary, they don't necessarily earn more, but they get to work remotely from home or on a hybrid model. Maybe they only need to go into the office one once per week. And also their new boss seems to not be as much as a micromanager. And that leaves you with plenty of time to work on other things, perhaps a side hustle, etc. So I can't define for you what career advancement means because for everyone, it will be slightly different. But I think that for most people, career advancement will mean a combination of those things, a combination of uh, compensation, so salary and benefits, uh, room for growth and learning, and what the work environment and work conditions are like. So if you figure out that the company that you're working for now does not provide you these things that you need for your career advancement, while well, there's this other job opportunity that will likely provide you with an improvement in all of those factors, then I believe, yes, job hopping is a good idea. 
But then there are also wrong reasons for job hopping. So what are those? One bad reason to frequently change jobs is simply because you get bored easily with anything. So what I don't mean is that your job is boring because Every job will have some kind of component, some elements, some work process in it that someone will find boring. What I mean is that if you're the type of person who just quickly gets bored very quickly with everything and anything, so you've just worked on something for let's say a week and then you can't stand it anymore and you want to move on to something else and you do that for two weeks and then you move on and so on, then that is actually a problem that you have and that you need to look into because if you're always bored with everything and have the need to switch to something else um, in as little as two weeks or six months even, then perhaps you haven't really identified what you really want. And moving on from job to job that fast is just a kind of compensation to, to get a kick out of finding a new job and having a new environment. But then that wears off quickly and you want to move on again. But the question is, when will that end? If you have that kind of um, tendencies, then that is something that you will need to figure out for yourself first. And another wrong reason to keep on switching jobs related to boredom is also if you just don't know what you want. I mean, it's very, very natural as a fresh grad, for example, to start a job and then after you're realizing that this is not what I want, I've already been through it, I figured it out, this is not for me, I want to do something else. I don't want to do A anymore, I want to do B. So that is why I'm switching to a job B. I think that is totally legit. Or even if you've been working on your career for several years and at some point you've found that, okay, my company is not all that I thought it should be. Um, the working environment is really crappy. My boss is a total tyrant and a micromanager um, and I'm not learning anything here. My job is so routine. I do not get the opportunity to learn new things. I don't have any mentors. Um, there is no possibility for upward mobility in this company because there are just never any vacancies. So where do I go from here? Even though I perform my job very well what is the next thing what happens after this so that all is also very legit but it's a totally different thing if even after years and years in the workforce you still just don't know at all what you want and every time you see a new job opportunity that offers you a one thousand or two thousand dollar salary increase you just hop on to that in the hopes that that job will provide you the job satisfaction that you were looking for only to find that hmm even those additional one to two thousand dollars are not doing anything for me because i simply don't like the work i don't like the industry i'm not interested in the products at all so if that happens once, as I said, that is totally um, natural or even twice. But if that's a recurring thing, a recurring pattern, if that goes on for five, six, seven jobs and you keep on switching um, just because you're confused about your own plan, about your own career, you really don't know where you want to take all of this then I believe the responsibility is yours to figure that out. Then in that, those cases, I'm actually against job hopping. If I were the employer, I would be thinking, hmm, before you move to another company, perhaps you should figure out what you really want. What kind of company, what kind of job are you looking for? What is important to you? What do you want that new job to have instead of just hopping to the next job because it's a shiny new object? But going back to the right reasons, if you are changing jobs, even though frequently for the right reasons to advance your career, and you already know what career advancement means to you, you're doing it for um, meaningful reasons and not just haphazardly, then yes, I'm all for job hopping and you should definitely do that. Because in the end, your happiness, your career satisfaction, career fulfillment is your responsibility and not the company's. No company in the world will really care about your career fulfillment. They might want to provide you with a good working environment and growth opportunities and mentorship and um, a good compensation package and so on. But in the end, they will not care about you at the level of career fulfillment. And that's only natural because career fulfillment is only something that you can achieve 
what it means to be fulfilled in one's career is something that is so personal and so intimate that only you can truly know it. And that is why you need to take that responsibility into your hands. And if that means that you need to change your job, even after just working in a job for six months for one year, then so be it. Now, at this point, you might still be thinking that's all good, but I still care about how future employees will perceive me or how they will look at my resume. Now, here it's really important to remind yourself again that between your career advancement and perception, how other people perceive you, your career advancement is always more important. Perception is just a superficial thing. You might be perceived in one way, but that's not telling the whole story. I would say that too many people care way too much about how their resume looks. And of course, it is nice to have a polished, um, consistent resume where everything makes sense and the, the time frames also um, are quite proportional. So perhaps you spend four years at this company and then six years here and then seven years there. And in each um, company, you achieve something significant that you can be proud of. But oftentimes in life, it's just not like that. Not everyone finds the ideal job that they want at the right time because a lot is also about timing, right? So I would say do not be too concerned about your resume. Be more concerned about the actual career decisions that you make because the career decisions that you make, if you do them for the right reasons, those will automatically reflect in your resume. And even though your future employer, when they look at your resume, um, do not perceive you in that way immediately and they might have a different perception. If you made career decisions, for the right reasons, you will be able to explain them in a very logical way because for each job change, even though you only change jobs after one year, you move to another company, you will have a very good and true reason for why you did that. And you will be able to explain that to your interviewer in a way that actually makes sense. Now, do I support job hopping endlessly? Here's one caveat. I think it makes sense for a person to stay at one company for one year and then they decided, no, it's not for me and I have a better opportunity over there, so I'm going to switch. And then after two years, switch again and so on. So let's say even within five years, you had two to three different jobs. In general, if you did it for the right reasons, I think that it still makes sense. But of course, there are also very extreme cases. For example, people who work in four different jobs in two years, if they even get to that point. But then there might be an extreme case of someone uh, switching jobs three times within a year or five times within two years. So that is obviously a red flag. I mean, if you job hop in very short intervals, let's say two or three times, you might have good reasons for doing that. Perhaps you just enter the job market after graduating college and you're just not as good yet at identifying uh, which companies are actually good to work for and you haven't really figured out what you want for your career yet. So I think that um, employers would be more understanding of that. But if you've already been in your career for let's say five years and you've been switching to a different job every single year, then the question here is not what will the employer think of you? What will their perception be? But the even more important question is, um, why are you actually changing jobs so frequently? Why do you feel the need to change jobs every year? Could it be that you're not selective enough in choosing jobs and that you're just hopping on to every new opportunity without taking the time to fully assess whether or not that company or that job is aligned with your career goals? So I would say in the very beginning of your career, it is more natural to job hop in smaller intervals, but after doing it for a couple of times, then try and slow down. Try to be more selective with each job hop that you make. Try to assess what you really want for your career and also try to improve your skill in selecting the right candidates. And here by candidates, I mean not you, but I mean the companies because in a way, 
the companies you are going to work for, they are also your candidates. Now, unfortunately, as with many of these things, there is no comprehensive study that really proves what job hopping does to one's career. Um, one reason could be that careers are so difficult to compare. It is so difficult to compare your career with your friend's career, especially if you're in a different industry and there are different jobs that we're comparing and there are also different interviewers involved in the process. So all I can give you to support my arguments are anecdotal evidence. One person I know, for example, changed jobs three times within five years. And every time that he changed jobs, it was for a good reason. So the first time he changed jobs was during the pandemic. Things started to slow down, as was the case with um, most businesses, and people started to get laid off. And he was not among the people to get laid off yet but he was proactive. So instead of waiting for him to get laid off, he actually got another job that paid him a higher compensation and also had more interesting projects. But then after about one and a half years, again, he chose to move on. So this is all still within the same industry and within more or less the same job description. So the reason that he moved on was because of the working conditions. The working conditions were just not fair. The company just didn't do a good job at managing their headcount in their team. So let's say that in one team, they would normally have five people, but then two people left, and then there were only three uh, people left. So this friend of mine here had to take on the workload of um, one more other person. He had to work longer hours with no additional compensation at all. And that took a toll on his health, on his stress level, and everything and despite him raising this to his supervisor to his managers no one would really do anything about it so he decided why should I continue to just take this why not just move on to another company so he interviewed with another company where again he got a salary bump of about 10 percent or more and also better work-life balance and then after about a year he moved on again for the right reason again because that company um, the work there was simply not challenging enough for him and he found another opportunity that gave him a significant salary bump so much much more over ten thousand dollars so I think that that is a very good reason to move. And since then, he's actually enjoying that company a lot. It offered him very good work-life balance. He loved his colleagues and everything. And since then, he's actually stayed on for much longer than at the previous companies. So that shows us that over the years, although in the beginning he did job hop a lot, to kind of find his way and figure out what he wanted. He eventually arrived at a point where he understood what was important to him in terms of compensation, um, learning, learning and growth, and also work-life balance, colleagues, boss, uh, type of boss, and so on, that he managed to find the right job, the right company where he was willing to stay longer. So that in itself is, is a learning curve. So that job hopping process is a learning curve, which you should get better at after a while. And there's another thing that this example also shows that it's not true that just because you have that job hopping pattern, company will automatically say no to you. It's not true. It all depends on how you can explain these job hops. And you can, of course, only explain it in a logical way if you had logical reasons to change jobs. I mean, you can't just job, job hop haphazardly for no reason just because you're bored and then make up some fantastical story. No employer will believe that. So. Again, I'm going back to my initial thesis where I said that um, it's more important to think about the reasons, having good reasons for changing jobs. And the right reasons is if it's good for your career advancement and think less about the perception of the employer. Now talking again about the right reasons to change careers. First of all, you need to know what you want for your career, what a fulfilling career looks like to you. And if you wanna learn more about that, you might wanna pick up my book, Multiple Careers, Quit the Rat Race, Pursue Fulfilling Work. Um, that book will teach you step-by-step step how to identify 
what kind of career you actually want for yourself, what kind of work you like to do, what kind of work is suitable for you. And there's also a free downloadable workbook that you can use to journal your way through those questions so that you can finally make better career decisions. So never ever put your career on hold, never miss out on good job opportunities just because of your fear of other people's perception of what they will think of you. But on the other hand, also don't let yourself off the hook for not knowing what you really want. It is totally your responsibility to find out for yourself what you want for your career and go out there and find those opportunities.